Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on uh, YouTube and Instagram and then Me Crafty Scrapper Creates on Facebook. Uh, today is a uh, another episode of BookTube. Um, I've only done uh, one other one of this and I showed you how I was keeping up with the books that I've read uh, for the year and I need to update you on that because look at there I've already almost I have one more line left uh, to fill up this page and so I have started a whole other page um, so I wanted to go over that with you just to update you on that the ones that want to know about that then I have new subscription boxes that uh, I have joined and I am an affiliate with that I wanted to show you um, all of that that comes in there and if you're interested um, in getting those subscription boxes now this one I'm not affiliate with truly yours I just um, signed up for that one it's a great Christian fiction um, book kind of book club you get a, a new book every month and then this one is butterfly box and i am an affiliate with them and i have a discount code for you on that uh these are new books that i got from uh christianbook.com when they had their little sale that was going on uh, about a month ago that I wanted to share with you. They sounded really, really, really good. So I wanted to share those with you. And then I've got some happy mail to share also that uh, Brandon brought me yesterday from the shop. Not only is it a booktube video, it is also a happy mail video, a what's on my desk video, and an unboxing video. So lots and lots and lots to cover in this this here video and um, I'll be chit chatting through it all too and y'all stick around and visit with me so um, first off let's um, just go over we had gotten down to about like I don't know I think I had 17 or 18 written down yeah that's right I had 18 written down it was um, unclutter your soul but devotional which was awesome by the way um, that was back in January, believe it or not, and, you know, we're in July now, but um, Unclutter Your Soul was a devotional. It was written by uh, Trina McNeely, and uh, I gave it a five star. All devotionals, in my opinion, are going to get five stars unless it's just totally off the rocker and not with the Bible. I mean, a devotional is going to get five stars with me because anybody has taken the time to write a devotional and uh, bring out extra stuff from what the Bible's already telling us and bring out Bible truths I'm going to give you five stars unless it's just very 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 poorly written and like I said just way out there and not biblical that's the only way you're not going to get five stars with me so that was a uh, really good devotional it's brand new so um if you can find that one uncl unclutter your soul that was a really good one uh five days missing i'm not exactly sure that that one was a christian fiction but it was one that was uh recommended to me so i read it i gave it three stars so obviously it was kind of middle of the road for me a stranger's game that was um colleen coble one of my favorite, all-time favorite, Christian fiction authors. And uh, that one was kind of a disappointment to me. I gave it a two-star. So um, I'm not telling you all of this just so that you can go, oh, okay, Melina gave it two stars, so it's not worth reading. Of course, read it yourself and um, gather your own thoughts on it. I'm just telling you what I've read and, um, you know, the score I gave it. Uh, last breath I've got good daughter on my um, to read list this is not Christian fiction but um, it's just regular fiction and um, this was the prequel to good daughter so I wanted to read it first now I'm not so sure that I want to read good daughter um, I gave it three stars I wasn't too impressed with it had some vulgar language in it so that's what I get for not reading Christian fiction so that one's Last Breath by Karen Slaughter. Divine Vintage. Um, this was um, an E, so an ebook arc. So I had been given a copy of it before it uh, come out to review it 
and um, it was a little out there for me. It was very cozy, but it was um, kind of like it had some fantasy to it, and I'm not, I mean, absolutely not a fantasy sci-fi kind of girl. So um, the cover was very deceiving because it was like a vintage Victorian looking lady on the cover. So when I got into the book and it started going like from dual timeline back and forth and it was kind of, yeah, kind of vision fantasy. Mm, it just kind of turned me off. So anyway, Sandra L. Young, if you're into fantasy, you like sci-fi and it is a kind of a... Um, uh, historical type fiction timeline you'll like divine vintage uh, refresh your prayers another devotional this one is by Lori Hatcher and I review devotionals and Christian fiction for um, uh, SG and scoops the magazine so um, that's why I have quite a few devotions in um, my reading but anyway that was um, an advanced reader's copy also. I gave it a five star. Refresh Your Prayers, very good devotional. Because Your Mind by Colleen Coble, you know, my favorite Christian fiction author now, but this one was a really big disappointment for me. Um, before even the middle of the book, I could um, figure out what the plot was going to be, so that was pretty, pretty sad. Um, I gave it a two star. Um, that was Because Your Mind by Colin Coble. Give Yourself Some Grace, another, another devotional. This one was written by Karen Phillips. I got this as an advanced reader's copy. It was very, very good. Well-written devotional. I love that book. Give Yourself Some Grace, five star. Chasing Shadows by Lynn Austin. Um, Lynn Austin is another great Christian fiction author. Uh, I gave it three stars. Um, it kind of, she chased some rabbits in that one, but um, it was a really good historical fiction book. If you're into historical fiction, you will like Chasing, Sh Chasing Shadows <laughs> by Lynn Austin. Life on the Altar, The Life We Are Called to Live by James B. Law. It's another devotional, but it was... It was, to me, even more so like a, um, uh, like a commentary to the Bible. That's how good he went along with bib biblical truths. I really, really like that devotional. Uh, Life on the Altar by James B. Law. I did give it five stars. Uh, that one didn't give me page numbers, so I just writ wrote that it was a Kindle version because it was. But um, it was an e-book. It didn't give me page numbers, so that's why I've got that there. Um, let's see. A River Bend Gap, a new series I have started by Denise Hunter. I love this. It's a nice, cozy Christian read. Um, if you're not into cozy fiction, um, you might find a few parts of it a little cheesy. But um, I love cozy uh, Christian fiction. I love cozy fiction, period, but I love, love, love cozy Christian fiction. And um, I'm not too much into love stories, but um, Denise Hunter really puts suspense and mystery and who done it and what happened. And, you know, I can't figure this out along with a um, love storyline, you know, through it. So I love her books. Riverbend Gap, that's book one. She's got her newest, uh, book three is coming out this year. So that's why I wanted to get book one and book two read. So I've already done that. Riverbend Gap, Denise Hunter, it was the audio version and I gave it five stars. It was very, very good. It starts out suspenseful and, you know, on, on the edge of your seat. So you'll love that one. Uh, the last thing he told me by Laura Dave. Um, this was recommended to me as a brand new release. Um, I gave it four stars. It was pretty good. It, it was pretty good. It was not a Christian fiction, uh, if I'm recalling that correctly, but it was a fiction and it was pretty good. I gave it four stars. After that, I read book two in, um, 
Denise Hunter's uh, series, Mulberry Hollow, and I gave it four stars. It didn't keep me on the edge of this edge of my seat as much as book one, but it was still really, really good. Mulberry Hollow by Denise Hunter. Uh, another series I have started by Colleen Coble, um, One Little Lie book that was book one she is really good about um giving you that suspense that mystery that um uh i can't figure out who done it uh, now some of her books like up here that i've read i kind of figured it out beforehand but this one uh this series is doing is really good i gave it four stars one little lie then right back to back i read book two in that series two reasons to run is book two i gave it four stars also by colin coble really good series so if you're looking for a series to start um what was mine by helen klein ross um this was another recommended to me didn't didn't really uh, the ending fell flat for me um it was there was no who done it kind of stuff it was just a straightforward written book and you just kind of read the timeline of what was happening and what happened and there was no oh, i can't believe that happened you know i can't believe she did this or he did that there was none of that and then the ending really really fell flat for me so i gave it a two star uh, I am currently reading I'll Be Seeing You by Robin Lee Hatcher. That is a brand new uh, Christian fiction. And Until Leaves Fall in Paris, another brand new Christian fiction by Sarah Sun Sundin. Sundin. And uh, I've got the ebook of I'll Be Seeing You and I've got the audio book of Until Leaves Fall in Paris. I am seeing a big trend here that... I have not read one physical book all year. And so for the next series of books that I want to read, I want to read some physical books. Um, I just find with our schedule, especially the ministry schedule, um, <laughs> I get more books read when I listen to them. So um, that is my trend here lately. But that is my updated uh, books that I've read and I'm continuing to read so I'm on book 35 I'm reading book 34 and 35 right now so of the year uh, April March and April kind of fell flat I think I got two in March and two in April read um, January I was on a ball buddy <laughs> I read bunches and bunches of books in January uh, but then our ministry schedule uh, picked up and uh, you can tell I'm, I'm slowing down a little bit, but I'm glad I got as many books as I got read in January. So that is my updated books I have read in 2022. If you want any um, extra info on any of those books, leave me a comment below and I'll reply and let you know um, some extra stuff about them. Because I do have my reviews, all of my book reviews um, listed in my Goodreads account. So if you are on Goodreads, um, friend me, and then you can see all of my book reviews there, full book reviews there. This is a brand new, like I said, Christian fiction book um, subscription box that I am subscribing to. And they send you this Truly Yours. It says, Truly Yours, a book club exclusively for fiction readers. And it is Christian fiction readers. Um, this box, let me get the bubble wrap out, sorry. Was recommended to me. And um, when you subscribe, your very first book they send you, well, your very first box, they send you an extra book. So this was the book for July. This was July's book, uh, Creek Town Discoveries, The Apple Creek Announcement by Wanda E. Brunstetter. Brunstetter. And this is actually book three. So, um... I am getting a 
book that is third in a series, so I will need to get books one and two. And I've already looked on ChristianBook.com, and they have them for a very reasonable price. Actually, uh, a combined set, book one and two, is a combined set that you can buy on ChristianFiction.com. So this is book three that come with my Truly Yours subscription. It says, um, welcome to Apple Creek, Ohio, where a piano teacher has a fascination with painting the rural Amish landscapes around her home. Andrea Wagner has made it to her 30s feeling like she has had a charmed life and finally has fallen in love with Brandon Prentice, a local veterinarian. But then she discovers she was adopted. So there's a plot twist. <laughs> and all she thought she knew about herself was crumbled. Uh, Andrea becomes so fixated on finding her birth, birth mo mother that she pushes Brandon away. A friend suggests Andrea write to the Dear Caroline column in the newspaper for romantic advice or romance advice and she finds herself revealing her issues with being adopted to the letter dear caroline receives the letter but struggles to find the right advice given her own conflicted past so we can kind of put together put two and two together and figure that out can't we what will andrea lose before she finds herself again so it sounds very interesting and it sounds like a very nice cozy christian read and i am looking forward to that but i am a creature of habit and when it comes to series books i have to read the first and second before i get to the third so i'll have to do that for um christianbook.com i'll have to get those on christianbook.com now just to let you know truly yours um book of the month does not send you a series every month and a series out of order every month this was just um, july's book now for your free book that you get for your first box you get to choose. I think you get to choose between three different books. I chose this one, not knowing that the July book was by the same author. But this um, blurb for this one sounded really, really, really good. And this is book one of the Amish Greenhouse Mystery by Wanda E. Brunstetter, uh, The Crow's Call. And it says, Mysterious events plague a greenhouse in Pennsylvania's Amish Amish country so both she's an Amish Christian fiction or historical fiction uh, author when Vernon King his son and son-in-law are involved in a terrible accident three women are left to cope with their deaths as they become the sole providers of the family they have left the woman the women's only income must come from the family greenhouse but someone seems to be trying to force them out of business Amy King has just lost her father and brother, and her mother needs her to help run the family greenhouse. It doesn't seem fair to ask her to leave a job she loves when there is still a sister and brother to help, but Sylvia is also grieving for her husband while left to raise two children, and Henry, just out of school, is saddled with all the jobs his father and older brother used to do. As Amy is assumes her new role, she also asks Jared Rickle, to put their courtship on hold when things become even more stressful at the greenhouse will amy crumble under the pressure so same author but this is book one so i'll be able to dive right into this one and then go on into the rest of the books that are in this amish greenhouse mystery it sounded really really good and a nice cozy read i'm all for cozy i have a uh, busy uh, sometimes stressful life so I really like cozy reads so that is the books that I got for July from the truly yours um, book of the month club or subscription box and I will leave the information below the link um, if you are interested in getting this um, box to come to you every month they did send a little sheet that gives you um, kind of a insight as to what you um, will receive for August. And then um, they also send you 
a uh, little blurb about the author that you received for the month. So I like that. And it is very, very reasonable. I should have mentioned that in the very beginning. Truly Yours is one of the most reasonably priced subscription boxes, monthly subscription boxes I've ever seen, ever. And I love subscription boxes. I love unboxing. <laughs> But they are very, very reasonably priced, and um, I'm very satisfied with this one. So I, I believe I will be um, having this one come to my house for a very long time. So that is that. Here are the two books, uh, new Christian fiction that I got from ChristianBook.com. Dead Silence by uh, Robin Carroll uh, says Elise Carmichael is a court sign language interpreter who reads lips all the time. As a widow with a young deaf son, lip reading is simply second nature until the day she reads the lips of someone on the phone discussing an attempt to uh, be made on the life of Liliana York, a senator who just happens to be her mother-in-law. Before Elise can decide... What to do? She gets a call that her son is being rushed to the ER and she must leave. Then later she sees the news report that her mother-in-law has been shot and killed. But when she comes forward, her life as well as her, as her son's life may now be in the crosshairs of an assassin. Um, this sounds like a wonderfully good book. I'm all into suspense. I'm all into mystery. Um... If it has a uh, murder mystery, that's um, even better. I know that sounds horrible, but <laughs> um, uh, we're just talking about fiction here, y'all. Um, but I really, I really love the blurb on that one. So I decided to get that one from ChristianBook.com. And then this one is from Sean Smucker. These Nameless Things. I love the cover of that book. Love artwork. Um, this one, the blurb on this one says, once held captive and tortured on a mysterious mountain, Dan was lucky to have made it out alive, but freedom comes at a cost. Left with little memory of the horrific ordeal, Dan can recall one thing. His escape meant leaving his brother behind. Oh, with each day that passes, Dan waits with the other survivors in hopes of his brother's escape, but just as long forgotten memories start rising to the surface the sudden appearance of a wounded woman throws everything into question as dan struggles to know who to trust he is caught once again in a paralyzing morale dilemma how far will he go to save the people he loves um that just sounds amazing i can't wait to dive into that one love those two um i grabbed up from christianbook.com i will leave that link of course at the uh, bottom in the description box below here are my butterfly boxes now what i did was i went and got um two of their past boxes because i loved them and i wanted them and um i went ahead and just got two of their past boxes well while i was on their website i um signed up to be um, in their affiliate program and I let them know um, that y'all enjoy unboxing and that you enjoy my book reviews and things like that so um, they have allowed me to become one of their affiliates and it said this is Stephanie that owns the company Melina so excited to work with you please let me know if you have any questions so I've got to look, all of the boxes look the same, so I have to look and make sure of which one I'm supposed to be opening first. This one was the July subscription box, and there is a discount code uh, for you to use in their shop just to buy past boxes or to buy any kind of stationery, or they have candles there, all kinds of self-care stuff and then books and devotionals, things like that. So I have a discount code for you that I will share and I will put in the description box below. And then um, this one, let's see. Okay, yep. All right, that one's the one I wanna show you first. And then this one, and then that's the July box. And of course, they've already started 
um, getting together and about to start shipping the August box. So I'm very, very excited about that. You'll be seeing that in the not so distant future. But this is one of the past boxes that I went on the website and bought. So you get a little um, card that's kind of like has a blurb of what is in the box. So um, this one had the 100 Days of Bible Promises Devotional Journal by Shannon Noel. I'd been wanting that for a long time. I'll show you that in just a minute. It's got truth cards. I'll show you how those work in a minute. Uh, God is good all the time t-shirt. It has a t-shirt in it, y'all. When you sign up for the, the subscription box to Butterfly Box, <laughs> uh, you have to put in your t-shirt size. And I thought that was amazing because that means there could be future t-shirts in boxes. So I really love that. Um, who does not love getting a book of some kind and then getting uh, little things that go along with it? That's why I love Butterfly Box. I'm, I'm really, really excited about this. Uh, Travel Bottle Holder by Mary Square. And then a then ministry support. We will help share God's goodness with. Uh, this month we will be supporting the Sheep Fold. They work to equip mothers with children suffering from homelessness or abuse for successful independent living, with hope for the future. A key outcome uh, is that they can live on their own and independently and not be tempted to return to their abuser and destructive lifestyle. You can learn more about the amazing work they do at thesheepfold.org. So that is another thing that Butterfly Box does each month uh, with your uh, with the proceeds they receive from your subscription, uh, paid subscription every month. They support a nonprofit, so I love that. Some some type of ministry they support, and along with your book, the things that are inside your box. Um, come from um, great mom and pop kind of independent small businesses so I really really like that too um, this is the look, look at that divine little keychain there uh, so marysquare.com marysquare.com and um, I see me putting some um, hand sanitizer in that one I love that created to shine lovely this is the truth cards by crystal witten and let me get some scissors so i can get those open so you have these truth cards and they have uh, scripture references to them and they're beautiful look how nice and uh, colorful and i mean they're just beautiful cards and you have a little stand that come in the box too now I hate that I'm showing you all this because, um, well, for one thing, I love that I'm showing it to you because I have it, but I do believe that this particular box is sold out. It is a past box. The only way you can guarantee that you get a box is that you sign up for each month. So wouldn't that be darling on your desk? I love that. So you got all kinds of little truth cards to put into that. Look at this wonderful t-shirt. It is a very light baby pink. And then it says, God is good all the time. And a nice script with a sketchy little heart there. I love that. Love that shirt. I have been wanting to get that shirt out forever. But I decided, no, no, no. I'm going to wait and unbox it all for everybody on YouTube. Okay, so, dear Butterfly member, at Butterfly Box, we work hard to make sure that your boxes are curated with products that inspire your faith and that you will love because many of our products are created, spe let's say, specifically <laughs> with our customers in mind. It is necessary that we place our orders months in advance. We do our very best to make sure that we have the correct quantities of each box. It is a small business and they're just that is just telling you, hey, if you receive something that you weren't supposed to receive or that if you get some if you don't get something, let us know. We'll we'll fix it. So that's how you know we do it scrapbookingwithme.com. We're a small little business and y'all know we're human. We're gonna make mistakes. So if you have any issues 
you email us and we take care of you, right? Right. This is the devotional I have been wanting for a long time and I just couldn't um, get around to ordering it. I saw that it was in one of the past books with Butterfly Box and I decided, yeah, I'm going to get that box. And the past boxes are usually uh, nice and discounted too. And I found out you can use my discount code on the discounted stuff too, on the past boxes. So, win-win. Uh, they have really nice shred in each box. Look at that pink shred. I can see uh, making some shaker box um, or shaker window cards for my journals with some of that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This is by Katie Fultz. And I know that you've seen this book around. I love the artwork in this. The illustrations in this are wonderful. Lovely, lovely. So 100 days. So it starts out, tells you what each day um, is going to cover. And then you've got plenty of room to write. Now, this book itself might still be available on the website. I don't know, but I, I, I'm almost like 99% positive that this box um, has already sold out with the t-shirt and all that in it. But the book itself might still be available because they do have a la carte stuff on the website too. So I really love that devotional. I'm, um, I love journaling, y'all know that. And so that has got me um, in a very happy mood the last few days. So there is that box. And then all right, the next box that I picked up was another past box. And it's beach themed. I had to have it. Um, on every box, it has the scripture reference from 1 Thessalonians 5, 11. So encourage each other and help each other grow stronger in faith, just as you already doing. Just as you are already doing. Beautiful. Look at this. Love it. Okay, so our little blurb sheet tells you what is in the box. The beach is calling devotional. I'll get to that in a second. Um, coconut lime verbena candle. Look at that. Y'all know that white doesn't like to show up in, on my camera for whatever reason. White and red. And it smells divine. I love it. It's in a little tin container. Love that. That is from Wyatt Company Candles. Um, let's see. Set a peaceful tone in your home with the candle by, candle by Wyatt Company Candle. Uh, it's delicious fragrance will surely help you relax and it's scripture mightier than the waves of the sea is his love for you psalm 93 4 will help you rest in his love um salt and light beach tote uh carry everything you need in this adorable beach tote inspired by matthew 5 13 through 16 this salt and light tote bag is both a reminder and a conversation starter for sharing gospel wherever you go so i love that look how big it is look y'all it's huge be the salt and light y'all love it love it love it very very cute tote um psalm 139 9 magnet with bible verse psalm 139 9 and 10 this magnet will remind you that even in the farthest farthest oceans god will still be with you no heights nor depth uh, are deeper than his love for you i love magnets i collect magnets everywhere we go when we go on a trip if, especially if we've never been there I have to have a magnet for the refrigerator. Our magnet is full. Our refrigerator is full of magnets. It's kind of the opposite way too. Our magnet is full on the refrigerator, whatever. Um, I love, love, love magnets. And it's kind of almost sandy feeling. So I love that too. Um, Handheld wooden cross with prayer card. Lovely. Look at that. That is adorable. 
I love it. I love um, the thoughts of having like the candle on a little side table and maybe having a little um, bowl of some kind with the cross in there, maybe with some little candies or something. That is so cute. Um, the beautiful thing about prayer is that God hears it and it is powerful. May this wooden cross be a reminder that your prayers reach the Most High God and that nothing is too hard for Him. Your cross is accompanied by a handy prayer card to help you in times when you don't know what to pray for. So that is wonderful. Uh, and the prayer card is referenced from Psalm uh, 91, 2 through 4. I love that. Lovely. And it comes in a nice little sachet bag. Love that too. Uh, balm Standard <laughs> Lip Balm. Add this organic lip balm to your self-care products this summer season. This pineapple and coconut lip balm will keep your lips moisturized and protected all summer long. Founded by an adorable couple, Avery and Claudia. This company is a great one to support. So, um, two of my favorite flavors, pineapple and coconut. And so I am going to try this out right now. And that is wonderful. Oh, I love that. Balm Standard. That's great. Yum, yum. Love that. And then our devotional. The beach is calling. So... Uh, if you've gotten any of the devotionals Jesus Calling, this reminded me of this, and I'm pretty sure it's by the same uh, publisher. Whether you live on the beach or wish you did, the daily devotional will transport you to a place where you can rest and relax in the Father's love. It will provide a haven of rest for the times when you feel like the waves of doubt are crashing around you or a storm is overwhelming your faith. You'll Learn how to release your fears, worries, and concerns while resting in God's loving care. Love that. Um, the Beach is calling 90 devotions for rest and relaxation. Very cute. This is a very cute devotional. I have never... So it was to 2021, so just last year that this was put together. Love it. Let's read this first one. Uh, truly, my soul finds rest in God. Uh, Psalm 62, 1. Ocean and horizon are like trust and rest, inseparable. If we don't learn to trust God, we won't experience true rest. Rest is a constant craving of our hearts. In the moments of our hardest days, in the weeks of our longest waits in the months that bring more questions and answers physical rest is planned but spiritual rest is priority when we trust god we are teaching our souls to rest in him no matter what happens he's here and he sees what we need when we're going when when is best in the same way there's a steady refreshing breeze at the ocean's edge there's a steadfast reassuring purpose at the heart of God's plan for our lives, trust and rest come by believing His plan for us are always driven by perfect love. How do we keep our face toward our purpose and the loving love guiding it? We keep our focus on hope as ceaseless as the waves. We keep our confidence in faithfulness as sure as the sunrise. We keep our prayers grateful for God's goodness and honest uh, for our growth. He knows us and sees us with cloudless clarity that should inspire us to trust him with fearless courage. When we move through our days, brave and hopeful, our souls find rest in the world that's fighting to reel our minds and spirits in the opposite direction. Isn't that the truth? Trusting God is the divine tug that will win us the battle. Today is another chance to remind ourselves that we need to give it all to God. The pain, the why did this happen, the humanness of our doubt, the realty of our fears. He'll take it all in one fell swoop of love. 
leaving in its place a lighter spirit, a brighter hope, and a deeper trust. The rest of the fo that follows will be like sunshine to our souls and as soothing as sand between our toes. Father, I trust, we I trust you with my cares, my day, and my journey. Every hope I have is in your perfect love, the only peace, place my soul finds perfect rest. Amen. So that is the first devotion um, in this little book, and I love it. Oh, that is so, um, I mean, I'm just in love with the cover anyway. Look at all those splatters. It looks like I designed that. <laughs> Y'all know how I love my splatters. So that was one of the past uh, boxes from Butterfly Box, and I am loving that one. Love that little candle. Mm, can't wait to burn that one. All right, so July's butterfly box was a lemon theme, and you got in it, um, there are, Stephanie did tell me in an um, email that there are some of these left. You just have to email them. They don't have them listed on the website at this very moment, at the moment of this uh, video recording but um if you will email them if you want one of the july kits they will hook you up with that and let you know how you can get that um refreshing lemonade drink mix from too good gourmet let me read the blurb about that one uh summer sweet lemonade by too good gourmet stay cool this summer with a drink mix that is as refreshing as it is adorable Two Good Gourmet is a family business built by a mother-daughter team, and they are in the business of providing a little bit of happiness. We hope you will treat yourself to a cup of refreshing lemonade and time with Jesus to bring some happiness into your day. So, lemonade drink mix. I love lemonade, so I am all for um, making that, mixing that up. Um... When life gives you lemons, walk by faith. How cute is that? So this is a faith booklet. This devotional booklet includes 21 days of reminders, encouragement, and reflections that will help you focus on God during the hard seasons of our lives. This will direct you to the Word of God and will help you to respond to trials in, in a way that honors God and grows your faith so i'm all about devotionals i love devotions um i love daily devotions i love how it helps you and guides you into what um, is needed for your life as far as bible study i love that there are lines in here to be able to um write so i love that little booklet nice and look at that nice yellow shred that is in there there is also a five dollar off coupon card and it gives us a code at the bottom so um, the subscriber or whoever bought the box to get a one of their beautiful candles that they have on the website um, at a discounted price um, this is when life gives you lemons wooden block so um, when life gives you lemons let God make the lemonade mm hmm and look at there, it is a block. It would be great as a um, accent on a little small table. I love that. The bright and summery, this bright and summery, when life gives you lemons, let God make the lemonade home decor piece is perfect for your kitchen counter or any room in your house. This is a reminder that God can always turn bad things into something beautiful and reminds us why we need to surrender and trust him. So gorgeous little reminder there. I love lemon anything um, during the summer anyway. So um, even having lemon decor is cute. Love it. Uh, Walk by Faith 365 day uh, perpetual calendar. Um, encourage your heart daily with inspirational thoughts and uplifting scriptures with this adorable calendar. This is perfect for your office, desk, or nightstand and offers a great way to be reminded of God's word throughout your day. Now, um, I know what you're thinking. It's July and they're sending you a calendar, but it's not dated uh, as far as 2022, the time of this um, video's recording. It's just got the actual date 
on it. So let's get to the day that I'm recording this video is July the 26th. So we got to flip it over. July the 26th. So I can go ahead and read that one. Uh, God's love can be seen in every circumstance. Amen to that. So it opens up nice and wide there. And um, it's kind of like the far side calendars that you used to get, you know. Uh, you got everybody one for Christmas. You know, you know you did that. You know you got people far side calendars. That's what this is like. But uh, Christian based and biblical truths and scripture references on these. So I love that. Be great on the office desk. And then let's see what else we got in here. Something that I have never had before, never experienced before. So I'm um, very intrigued to try these out. These are Butterfly Box Swedish Dish Cloth Set. These useful dish cloths are perfect for your kitchen and offer uplifting messages for you as you prepare and clean after meals each day. They are super absorbent with one cloth doing the work of 17 rolls of paper towels. Whoa. These are great for wiping down any surface in the kitchen or bathroom. Hmm. The European way to clean. Renewable raw materials, super absorbent, quick dry, durability and reusability, consistent and thorough cleaning, sustainable clean cleanliness. Whoa. Wash with dish soap before first use. So they're very um, stiff, but I'm sure once you get them wet, wow, soft and easy. So once you get them wet and clean them that first time, I'm very intrigued by these. I will I will try to remember to update you on how that how that all works out. So that's very neat. Anyway, this was the July box from Butterfly Box, and I'm very excited about that think after I get done with this video I will go make us some lemonade that's for sure and um, go on their website and get me a uh, <laughs> one of their beautiful lemon candles for a discounted price also um, and then their June box had um, some like it was like tea themed and happy themed, really nice bright colors, kind of some pastels in it too. And it had this devotional in it. And I went on and when I got these two books from christianbook.com, I went ahead and I got this devotional too. It says, Be Still and Be Happy, Devotions for Women, and 365 Daily Devotions. Now, it's pretty pastel, so that's why my camera's not not liking it too much. Let me see if I can dim it up just a little bit for y'all. That's a little better, I think. Be still and be happy. I love those. I love devotions. So that was something else. A daily devotion, one for each day. I can put it on my bedside table and read one a day. So that was from uh, christianbook.com and it was pretty reasonable too. But I got that when I got those. I just forgot to get it out of, I've already um, had it in my laptop bag, and I just forgot to get it out and show you, so I got Bethany to bring that to me. Now, last but not least, I got some Happy Mail. Brandon brought me um, yesterday from the shop. We just got back from a long ministry trip, and we were so tired, and I didn't even go to the shop yesterday. I cleaned and done laundry, and now our clothes dryer has quit working. Um, so, so, uh, yesterday was kind of a frustrating day and I know that I am not, uh, posting this video the day after we had gotten home from a ministry trip. It's just when I have recorded it. Anyway, this, and I believe all of this was from Katie. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have original mail package. Um, some stuff was... Uh, had mom's name on it and then some stuff had my name on it so um yep this is from katie also neutral tag bases i'll send the file to your mom soon so this is katie's craft cubby 
um, I'm sure that's the name of her Etsy shop. Straw paper in two different colors. Um, it's a, she says it's handmade, but not by me. Uh, some coffee dyed papers that she dyed. So that's a nice, pretty um, straw paper there. And then here's one that's more craft color. I love those. Oh, some handmade paper, kind of mulberry type paper. Beautiful. Ooh, we I love that. Mmm. I see that in some journals in my future. Look at this dyed paper. Oh my grannies, look at that. How pretty. Alright, Katie, you're gonna have to tell me how in the world you got you accomplished that. Look, look at that. It looks like it's only on one side, y'all. That looks like lace. Like she laid just a big thing of lace on top of it. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Y'all. I mean, y'all are some talented people. Look at that. And you can definitely smell the coffee. Love it. That is some gorgeous dyed paper and um, I don't see me wanting to use this in any journal because I don't want to rip it, fold it, or do anything else but just look at it and drool. I mean, this is gorgeous. That one's like a green color. Look at that one. Oh, that one's pink. Oh my gracious, this is so pretty. So I'm assuming that this was already colored copy paper and then she coffee dyed on top of that. Look at that. It looks like half of a medallion or something. That's gorgeous. Katie, thank you so much for that. And she had it bound in some pretty pink seam binding. Um, I'm going to wait for this for last because that looks very fun to open. So this is also from Katie, and she has sent me some of her printables, labels, etc. from my latest printable, ready to use. Mm. That always makes my life so much easier. Let's see what this is all about. It already looks gorgeous before I even get into the packaging. Oh, wow, look, she's made a little folio, and she's got her printables already fussy cut out, or die cut out, however she did it, and placed in dyed, looks like parchment paper, Katie, I'm just assuming. Look, y'all, look at those butterflies. I'm not going to get everything out. I will make a total mess on my desk. Oh gracious, this little folio is adorable. And I love this. Is it glassine that you've dyed here? Look at those birds. Beautiful. Love, love, love. Um, this is a matchbook style, so it flips up. It's got the little label at the bottom, and then it has like vellum or glassine pockets. Oh gracious. And it's already got all the ephemera. Look y'all. Okay, ephemera on the front and back. All the labels are already cut out and like she said, ready to use. Oh my. This is wonderful. Thank you so much, Katie. That's gorgeous. I love those. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, you're too good to me. Little butterfly box. <laughs> we got another butterfly box in this um, video. <laughs> and it looks like originally made by Katie. And look at these little tiny mini doilies. And they're all, I mean, it's like a rainbow of colors. And then even has brown. Look at those already dyed doilies. Made from the Tim Holtz Kaleidoscope Embossing Folder using black cardstock. I used circle and scallop circle punches to cut out individual motifs. I applied 
Gilder's Paste to antique them. Oh, wow. Look at those, y'all. That is like the um, paste that I use from Stamperia would do that. Look how pretty. Those are gorgeous, Katie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love it. So pretty. And I can see this all being used in my journals. Beautiful. Pockets with cards. So she's already done the pockets and made the cards for them. Look at that. She made, okay, that's a double. So she's made like library pockets. So it's got the little card already in it. And then another card already in it. These are gorgeous, Katie. You outdid yourself on these, lady. So pretty. Look at that. How nice. And there's one of those little dollies she used. And then there's one of the birds that she sent to. Another one back behind there. So she's showing me how she's used them too. Those are so pretty. Those are going to go in one of my personal journals. Too, too pretty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So she's done some tags for me, left undecorated, but look, they've already got their grate on the back already, like a um, coffee dyed paper on the back. These little clusters, looks like some that I've made, but prettier, lots and lots prettier than mine. Oh, look, it's a mini journal, and she did like I do on my minis and just stitched with her sewing machine down the middle. Love that. That is a cute little mini journal. Thank you, Katie. All right, now I had to figure out how to slide this off without breaking it or tearing it. That is a cute little closure for an envelope. Oh, oh gracious. And look at all these little dollies. How pretty. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Those are gorgeous. Melina. Please use the enclosed in any way you wish. Crafts, personal, family, or home. I so enjoy watching your videos, especially how you uh, so creatively use bits and pieces with amazing results. I'm a bit of a control and order junk journal make maker myself so your more freestyle is refreshing god bless you and your family katie and katie you have gorgeous handwriting just saying so 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 pretty so that's the little um craft envelope and it's been embossed very pretty and she's collaged with some of her little dollies and some of her uh, printables, I'm sure. And then that stamp looks very familiar. <laughs> and then we have... Oh! What? Oh my gracious! A $50 Amazon gift card, y'all. Katie, thank you so much. I thought I was going to be opening up another folio, which I am. It's got a beautiful pocket in there, but it's a gift card holder and a gift card just for me. And I thank you so much. I love it, Katie. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are so sweet. This is above and beyond Happy Mail. This is like <gasps> mail. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Mini bags made from Amazon packaging paper. <gasps> Mini scallop scissors used for opening edges. Look at 
how creative she is. Look at that. It's from the packet, the brown packaging you get in your Amazon packages, boxes, whatever. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Too cute. And we have this adorable belly band from some elastic lace. That is gorgeous. I don't want to take it off. But she's got me some book pages, like a pretty much a whole book here. Book pages. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, um, of course, Katie's Etsy will be um, listed in the box below, description box below. And y'all be sure to go and support Katie. Gracious. You've sent so much. Okay, now this was wrapped, and I'm going to be saving that. I love that. Ooh, it's a very old looking box. Very vintage looking box. I'm intrigued. Look for the bird, it says on the logo emblem. What, what, what do we have here? <gasps> what? Huh? Oh, it's piano paper. I don't have any piano paper. None whatsoever. Have never owned any of it. At first I thought this was a scroll. Look, the original price on this was $1.25, y'all. Uh, the song roll, hand played, voice made, happy day, gospel hymn, happy day, gospel hymn by Rambolt, played by Walter Espergen, 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 look at that, y'all, it's piano paper, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Oh my goodness. And the fact that it is a gospel hymn also um, has me in tears. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just over the moon. Excited for this. Um, I have lots of vintage stuff in my home. Vintage decor. And um, I just believe that this is going to be um, an addition to my vintage decor because there's no way I'm going to be um, tearing any of that. Now, I might copy some of that to use in some of my personal journals, but um, I will not be um, manipulating that in any way, shape, form, or fashion. That is going to be... Oh, <laughs> my book's over there fell over. That is going to be added to my vintage decor. That is... Some crazy good happy mail right there y'all I am so excited thank you so much for sticking around through the entire video I know there was a lot that I covered in this video but I wanted to get it all in for you and um, anybody that um, loves my book reviews you got something in this anybody that loves my unboxing videos you got something in this anybody that loves my happy mail or what's on my desk videos you got something in this so i appreciate you so that is it i am done i think i could go on and on we could be here for a while with some of the stuff i've been getting in the mail i've been um organizing in the house i have been um, getting new subscriptions in and I needed something that would give me some um, new Christian fiction ideas so I really like those um, subscription I've been talking about I have one more subscription that has not come in yet um, I signed up and I will be getting the August box of it um, 
it is called Peace and Pages. So P E A C E and Pages. Um, it is also a Christian fiction. Um, it's a. Uh, you can get all kinds of stuff. Um, you can just ask for Christian fiction. Um, you can get mystery or you know all kinds of stuff. But they send you uh, newer. Um, books and that's just like truly yours they also send you newer ones um, and I needed something that could automatically just come to my house I wouldn't have to search for all the new releases and things like that so these subscription boxes I'm getting are totally doing that for me and then butterfly box is um, mostly devotional with things that go along with that devotional and they have a set theme for each month and I really love that box and I love that I am able to be an affiliate with them so uh, be sure to check out the discount code below there is a discount for um, just using on the shop um, and then for August, be watching, and I will um, announce that in a new, uh, another video, um, there will be a half-off discount code that they're offering um, for new subscribers. So you'll get half off, like half off your first box that you get. So um, I'll have that discount code in the near future, starting in August. Y'all have a great day. Love ya. See you in the next video. Bye, y'all.